Hi there everybody, Stephen Lisa Stone here again uh, with another property tip. We are from Ray White in Parnella Newmarket. And today we are going to talk about buying first and then selling or selling first and then buying. So shall I start with buying first and selling? So yeah. I guess the big thing with um, buying a new property first and then selling your existing property is that uh, you could end up owning two homes and that's um, obviously stressful yeah and not necessarily what you want there's always the option of bridging finance and right now uh, in the market and it changes all the time but right now it's pretty hard uh, the banks are pretty tough on lending so they it's are. probably not a desirable spot to be in um, but there's a couple of options to help you around it and one is to sell your home and um, and actually go for a really long settlement and you might go for three, four, six months or something. I mean, we've had people going for as long as 12 months, which I don't know if I'd recommend because who knows where the well, market's going in that period. You know, I think you also risk. cut out a lot of people that are interested in your property. For yeah, the, yeah. The so that's going to impact on the price. But the, I mean, what most people seem to do, especially in this time of auctions, etc., is that they're selling first and then looking to buy. 